Why do most successful and accomplished influencers have their own businesses? Also, why do some of these influencers still live at home with their parents even when they are making so much money from brand campaigns? In today's video, I want to unpack some industry truths that you need to be aware of if you're looking to get into the space or have been thinking about quitting your job so if you're new here please consider subscribing so let's talk about the corporate world and by corporate i mean brands institutions etc now when it comes to marketing for these corporates they usually have all year marketing budget okay they have it but not all months are the same when it comes to marketing budget so a year is usually divided into four quarters so three months, three months, three months to make a full year, okay? So we have quarter one, which is Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Now, when it comes to marketing budget, not all these quarters are budgeted for the same way because customers are, you know, life is happening in different ways in the course of the year. For example, in Q1, which is January, February, March, only back to school is usually happening and most people have spent all the money in December, yeah? So brands think about it as there's no need of investing in marketing for example in marketing with influencers because people don't have money to even buy these products even though influencers are talking about them so q1 for most influencers is very quiet they will tell you it's cricket no brand is reaching out to them unless it's for valentine's and valentine's uh, most of the time you, you know it's, it's a one day campaign so it might not even be a lot of money so that's q1 now in the course of the year there are usually of course other campaigns that are happening whether it's mother's day father's day women's day but the bulk of marketing budget is usually at the anniversary of the brand for example jumia anniversary or talent capital anniversary so they'll invest a lot of money in anniversaries black friday which is in november so black friday brands put out a lot of marketing budget because they're trying to sell you know whether it's clearing stock or they just want to make all the sales that they have missed out on the whole year so black friday which is in november and the festivities so festivities influencers will tell you if there is a month they make money guys it's december okay in fact there's an influencer i reached out to um like a year ago and they told me i would like to take your brand but i am booked like i am packed like my content calendar is full of campaigns so you get to understand the year there are months that are very quiet nothing much is happening especially in the beginning and in the middle then you know anniversaries here you know those celebrations mother's day etc so usually influencers will make a lot of this money in the last months of the year most of the time and you know for most of them they'll even pay rent in advance like they know there are quite months that are coming so the money they make is enough to keep them afloat for months and months until you know the cycle continues so you need to be aware of that now this is why because of how um seasonal marketing campaigns are like they are very seasonal it's a very unpredictable industry it's it's the word is volatile like you just don't know you know you're always waiting like is there a brand that's gonna reach out like you can't control it's with without your control okay and most influencers have realized this and this is why most of them have their own businesses why they can control that you know you can control the customers you're getting you have an audience you are monetizing your audience say so you have a hundred k and you have a product you sell every month like you know or you have a clothing store people buy clothes from you so that you can control because you're controlling the output like how many posts are you posting every day like you know how to do to sell you know how to sell you're not waiting for a brand to reach out to you so that's why most influencers you will find have businesses and let's do a small exercise here murugi Moni has wild joanna has joanna k cosmetics nancy mwai has shop new level shilandinda has her salon spritz hair salon salon um for one boy acts she has an acting career and she also has the crutch okay which is a women you know women empowerment thing they meet and so on and so forth Njugush has ttnt so he will have the live you know comedy event he makes a lot of money from that you 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 get the pattern here most of these people have been able to monetize their audience so that they stop relying on brands because brands you just don't know by the way you don't know and the industry right now is be has become very saturated i'm not saying it's too saturated but 
there are many creators some of whom are very cheap like you can actually get value the same value you would have with a big one at less money right now so it's very competitive and again not many brands have warmed up to the whole influencer thing so the opportunities are there but they're not that many then there are also very many creators so it's very competitive which is why these influencers have realized i need to monetize my audience so like yvonne candy for example she has her designing studio where she's doing people's homes so she's not waiting for an interior design um brand to reach out to her to promote her product she is actually making even her own products you know couches and whatnot and tables her own products so i hope you understand so that when you're thinking of getting into the space just know that brand campaigns are not the only thing that is going to put food on the table and it's also a risky thing to think that that's the only way you're going to make money now another thing some of these influencers you see have day jobs imagine and by day jobs i mean like big jobs some of these guys are working for some of the biggest organizations you could ever imagine you know so they know that content creation is great the money is good but it's so so unpredictable so they still are keeping the day job because it's a bit more secure actually guys it's more secure than the influencer jobs another thing i have noticed with all these influencers most of them if not all they have youtube channels and i want to encourage you if you're an influencer or a content creator and you don't have a youtube channel please get one please open a youtube channel because you need to stop waiting for a brand to see you from the from the many of you you guys are youtube is good because it will pay you for your effort it will pay you for watch time it will pay you for the views you're getting you know and like instagram instagram does pay creators but they haven't rolled out to any african country like kenya we are like we are th guys we are third world in the in the hierarchy of countries so they are not going to roll out this anytime soon for creators here at you can earn money on instagram tiktok is there but someone showed me how much money they made on tiktok to do 400 bob and they have like 100k followers so you see open a youtube channel at least you have more control you know that the more you produce videos the more people will watch them the faster you get monetized and then you start making money so most of these influencers you'll notice they have channels like mkurugenzi for example he is making good money on his channel if you think of the wajizas family they have the brand campaigns but trust me they would never trade their youtube for brand campaigns because they are not predictable you just don't know so get yourself a youtube channel start creating start building your following and then think about how can you monetize your audience okay so for example the guys with a podcast if you have a podcast you know you you've seen what tmi are doing you've seen what the joyride do they have the live experiences so people pay to come and see you and have those conversations live that is how you monetize your audience so joanna is selling a product you know the lipstick people are buying her audience is buying her product murugi as well with the clothing i could go on and on and you know all these people sharon mwangi also has a clothing business epiphany um wabosha started out with bosch drip and now she's doing leather bags safiri so guys please 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 i know you want to quit your job i know you're frustrated i know you're like me, I can't, I can't do this job anymore. It's okay. Now let's talk about the strategy. It's okay you want to quit your job or you want to do this as full time. What are the steps you need to take? So number one, have a plan. Guys, have a plan. You need to sacrifice maybe like a year. You tell yourself, I'm going to do this job for a year. I am sacrificing. I'm going to save up. Save money. Invest it whether you're putting it in a money market fund or whatever investment opportunities or just save it somewhere. It can grow kidogo interest the point is to save save money enough to last you for like six months so look at all your bills how much do you pay for wi-fi how much do you pay for rent what's your food what's your transport how much is that for six months save enough to cover you for six months then now in the process of that while you're still working that job guys you're going to sacrifice your time you might have to stop going for gigs you might have to stop going to shenanigan out there you're going to work coming back home 
to create content. Shoot, edit, come up with ideas, you're posting, you're posting. This one year is for your creating content and building an audience, okay? Number three, think long term. As you're, as you're thinking about, okay, I want to be a beauty, fashion, lifestyle content creator, think long term. Think about how can I monetize this audience without a brand? That is the most important question you need to answer. How can you make money as a content creator without a brand, even one approaching you? Are you going to invite them for meetups every month and charge them a thousand bob? You know, are you going to come up with a product? Maybe you're, you, you know how to make, to create wigs, you know, or you know how to lay your wigs. Maybe you're creating like a, a what, like a masterclass to show them how to, to do that. You charge them, you know. Think about how you can monetize these thousands of people who are following you every day. So it's okay to quit your job. That's the dream. That's the dream everyone wants to quit their, you know, employment, formal employment. But you need to know that brand work, which is what everyone wants. Everyone wants to work with L'Oreal and be flown to South Africa. It just doesn't come easy. So start thinking about those things. And please, guys, get a youtube channel i beseech you get one if you don't have one youtube is one of the best places for creators to create content because they will pay you they are actually the only platform that is paying you well for creating content every other platform is not gonna pay you it's not gonna pay your bills but youtube is paying people's bills so yeah those are my industry truths i really really wanted you guys to know that um it's not as glamorous as it looks and you've seen why most of these influencers, when the brands are not there, you know, they are doing a few paid ads on stories from the smaller brands. You know, it's just a thousand bob or maybe 2K here and there. So you need to start thinking, YouTube will pay me good money. And then I need to see how I can monetize my audience. Let me know if this was helpful. Let's meet in the comments. Um, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.